Hey guys, did you know that how to write a business plan has been looked up 40,000 times in the past month? And if you search for business plan template on Google, you will see hundreds of images. But how do you know which one suits your business? And that's what we will figure out in today's video. So if you're here, you already have a business idea, a concept, and maybe even a running business too. But you're still feeling lost because you don't know how to write this giant of a document called a business plan. Don't worry, that's what I'm here to help you with today. I'm Mani Karthik and in this video, I'll share with you a very easy way to write a business plan in just five steps. On this channel, we help small and medium business owners run their business more smartly and efficiently. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon to not miss out on any of our videos. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Antoine de saint exupéry Some wise guy said it. And this saying is as true as they come. I don't need to tell you the importance of planning and you're here because you need some direction on where to start writing your business plan. So without much further ado, let's go. First things first. Let me tell you a little bit about what a business plan is and what it includes. A business plan is one document that holds every essential detail about your business from its leadership, employees and operations to its financial and marketing goals and budgets. It explains who you are, what you do and how you plan to do it. It helps you think about your business more clearly and take it to the next level. Some things you should know about a business plan are 1. It's a written document. It's better to jot it down rather than keep it in your mind as an idea. It's too complicated and huge to remember anyway. 2. It is generally advised to create it before starting your business operations. Having said that, if you already have a running business and want to create it now, you're not too late. 3. It explains every aspect of your business in proper detail. And 4. Your business plan is written from three standpoints. Marketing, financial and operational. Now, let's get on to the actual writing part of it. Your step 1 is to conduct a thorough market research. You've probably done a lot of research already on your business and that will come in handy now. Study your market, target customer group, competition and compare their SWOT analysis with your own. This will help you narrow down your efforts and focus them in the right direction. You'll know where you have the edge over your competitors and can use it while marketing. Step 2 here is to revise your niche and products. After your research, you'll have a very clear idea of what to add or remove from your initial list of products and services. And that's a good thing to know. Business plans generally include your list of products and services and with a clear idea of what the market looks like currently, you can always tweak your list to improve it. With the precise list of products and services, you'll be able to manage your operations and finances better. You can add the biggest sellers of those products, your unique products and services and also give a description of those. Remember, your products and services are the heart of your business. Use this to show the people exactly what you offer them. The third step to writing your business plan is to decide who will buy your product and how will you reach them, also known as your marketing strategy. Now that you have your research, product and services all in place, you can optimize your marketing efforts and focus on the more profitable ones. How you market and promote your products is based mostly on your products. The rest is dependent on your customer group. When you streamline your marketing strategy, you simply come one step closer to your customers and sell more. For example, if you sell custom-made jewelry, your key demographic will be young females and couples. Now you can decide on what to do to grab their attention and retain their interest. In this document, you can add your marketing goals, both short-term and long-term, based on your target audience and type of products, etc. You should also develop a plan to put your strategy into action. This will keep you on track with your marketing and sales. Your fourth step is to plan your finances. Your finances include things like financial statements and balance sheets if you are an established business and your targets, estimates and potential investors if you are a startup. Now, why are these necessary? Simply because managing your finances is one of the most important aspects of any business and a business plan helps you map out the best way to do it. You can add the amount of funding that you will need, what you plan to do with them and how much ROI can your investors expect. Managing a business is difficult enough, worrying about how you handle the cash flow is the last thing you need on your plate. With a business plan, you can predict what your revenue streams will be and what would be the best manner to put them to use. The last step is to chalk out your budget. 
This also comes from the financial standpoint of a business plan, but deserves a separate mention because this is more focused on your operations rather than revenue. Here, you plan your staffing, manufacturing and marketing costs, among others. When you write down your expected costs, you will be able to estimate how much you need to earn to meet your goals. You can add one-time costs like legal licenses and permits and recurring costs like rent, electricity, manufacturing costs, etc. in your business plan. You can make an expense sheet to keep track of this. Sounds simple enough, right? Let me give you a bonus tip as well. Include your USPs in your business plan. You should always mention what makes you different and why you're better than your competitors. You can also include things that are not directly related to your products but make the customer's experience better like fast shipping or better customer service. Keep in mind to include both perspectives, yours and your audience's, while you're writing the business plan. See, there are a lot of things that go on when you decide to start a business that sometimes you feel lost. Even though it sounds a little intimidating, a business plan helps you with a lot of things regarding your business. Just remember that every business is different and its problems are unique as well. Your business plan is for your convenience and to suit your needs. You can write a traditional plan or follow Airbnb's founder Brian Chesky's footsteps and prepare a one-page plan for world domination. See, the plan should align with your goals. You shouldn't feel overwhelmed while drafting it. That's really important. We're always here to help you guys out. And if you have any questions or suggestions, do let us know in the comment section below. Until next time.